VGCAM 2019 offers new selection tools for faster programming. Quickly and easily select surfaces for bosses, pockets, and side features. So as you can see, this part is part programmed. I've already got a series of features on the main setup. And I'm gonna use the new selection tools to program the rest. So the new selection tools can be found under the select item in the ribbon. And you can see there's three new ones. Select boss for selecting surfaces for boss features. Select pocket for doing the same, but for pocket features. And then finally select sides for selecting surfaces for side features. So the first feature I'm gonna tackle is this boss region here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select boss. I'm just gonna do a single click on the surface and it's gonna go ahead and select all the surfaces necessary to complete the boss feature. I'm just gonna go ahead and hold down control and select the remaining boss entities. Now that they're all selected, I'm gonna head over to the features and manufacturing tab, mill from surfaces, and I'm gonna choose boss. As you can see, it's automatically populated the top and the bottom Z levels. So I can just go ahead and press next. I'm gonna add in my chamfer graphically using the solid model. At this point, I'm happy with my feature, so I can just go ahead and press finish. I'm just gonna go ahead and hide this feature from my graphics area. So let's do that one more time, but this time I'm gonna concentrate on these four pocket regions here. So once again, navigate to the home tab and the select dropdown. I'm gonna go ahead and select pocket surfaces. And again, using the control key, I'm gonna quickly and easily select all the surfaces I need to create the features. Once again, I'm gonna head over to the features and manufacturing tab, mill from surfaces, and this time I'm gonna to select to create a pocket. Once again, as you can see, it's automatically populating those top and bottom Z levels. So I can go ahead and press next. I don't need to make any changes to the geometry or dimensions at this stage, so I'm just gonna go ahead and press finish. And once again, by selecting all of the surfaces, it's significantly reduced my programming time. I'm just gonna go ahead and hide the feature once again. Coupled with the new selection tools on the ribbon, we also have some new entities on the right-click menu. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select the base surface, right-click, and you can see we have select boss, select pocket, and select sides. Just going to go ahead and press select pocket and it selected once again all my surfaces. So I'm just going to follow the same process to create this pocket. Go ahead and zoom out. So, so far on this part, I've done a boss. I've done a series of pocket features. Now all that's left for me to do are these four side features that run down the bottom of the component. So for one last time, let's head over to that home tab the select drop down, and this time select sides. And again, nice and easily, holding down the control key to select all the surfaces I require. This time I'm gonna go ahead and open the features dialog and choose to select a side feature. So I'm gonna to choose to select side surfaces, select all my surfaces, ensure that I'm in on the correct side of the curves, which I am, and at this point I can press finish. And at this point my part is fully programmed. Let's go ahead and run a 3D simulation just to verify my programming. Just gonna go ahead and speed it up. You can see there I'm milling my boss, adding my chamfers, the pockets and the side features, and there's my completed component.